What's up guys? Nick back with a brand new video game review. Now how long has it been? Uh, several months. Since I started doing Let's Plays, you know, I only have what? Uh, two? Two maybe completed? That's it? Uh, well, 30th you count Pokemon Try, which I do. Go see that channel. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff on it. Three po or four Pokemon games so far. Red, blue, yellow, and green. Bud did two. Finished up blue. I did red myself. Debbie did, I think, half a blue. Or more, half or more blue. But anyway. This is a video game review of... Let me find the game. Army 2. The Devil's Cartel. As I stated with all these re this, these new reviews, it's going to be strictly me talking, nothing else, because I'm at the point right now where I can't do any editings. I can't, you know, just sit here and wait to, for stuff to render out. I need to just post them up. Now, we're not going to revert back to the two-minute reviews where they're like three minutes long. But at least five minutes. I'll try and talk as much about these games as possible. And there will be spoilers. I don't care how long has this game been out. Since like uh, March. March or something like that. Maybe even last year. I don't know. It's been long enough. I think six months is good enough to uh, say something about a game. Now games like uh, Saints Row 4 here. will not be ruining that one. You know. When I do reviews of those. It will not be ruined. All right. Devil's Cartel starts off as playing as Alpha, who is a <clears throat> uh, Alpha and Bravo. Might as well say Bravo because I also played it with two player with Bud. So you play as Alpha and Bravo, the two guys on the front, Alpha, Bravo, and you go through Mexico, I believe, or Colombia. I think they're in Colombia. I think so. You have to go through and capture the um, attempted, or the mastermind who's trying to kill the president, not of the United States. Okay, maybe it is Mexico. Well, cartel makes me think. Does it say? No. Anyway. Um, as you, the first thing that happens, a very traumatic moment is that Salem, who was in the original two, and Rios, so that Rios, both of them are there. Uh, that's your first mission that happens five years prior to the game setting, and Salem gets into an automobile accident, which is pretty much uh, he got stupid, jumped into a car, and it exploded, or someone else exploded it. Yeah, I see it. I, I see her too. I was doing this, but it's like I'm mirrored here. Anyway. He gets into an explosion. Rios' leg gets screwed up. Five years goes on. The, assassina the assassination attempt happens, and you have to go find this guy. Throughout the game, you get these... It's, it's a full-out action-packed game. It's very awesome compared to the other two. And I enjoy it completely. Two-player, much more enjoyable, especially if you're in the same room with the person. Me and Bud had a lot of fun with it. Especially when... Uh, <clears throat> I played it all the way through, beat it, got all the weapons. He played it through, beat it, got all the weapons. We combined that together. We both have all of our weapons. We both have all of our customizations. He actually uh, made a Batman and Superman mask, which he did a surprisingly good job. I didn't even know that you could make the Superman symbol like that, but he made it. The Batman symbol looks good, too. You know... That is by far probably my favorite mask that I use next to uh, El Diablo, which is a a red demon-looking mask with a white underbottom or a mouthpiece. All of them are pretty cool. You know, I made my I made a Deadpool one and a Joker one. The Joker one looks nothing like the Joker. The Deadpool one's simple. You know, it's not difficult to make Deadpool's. But anyway, back to talking about the game. Uh, you go through the game and you encounter El Diablo. And you have to fight his men, you have to fight all those people. And then when you get closer to the end of the game, the assassinator, assassinator, he gets killed by El Diablo, and so does your female companion. And then the guy flips his mask open, or it was beforehand, 
sometime. It turns out to be Salem. Yes, Salem is the bad guy in this game. I hate that. I would rather Rios be the bad guy. But Salem, it's like, what? What? Uh, Salem was my favorite character for the first two. He's he's like the big smartass of the two, and I like him much better than Rios. I played as Salem. The only reason why I played as Rios is to get the other achievements. But after the game's beaten, you get to keep all your money. You get to rank 30, I believe, 25 or 30, and that's it. And you can continue to unlock guns, continue to get money, do the missions all over again, you know, be super powered, all that fun stuff. Now, they took away the back-to-back uh, -back motions with Salem and Rios and added in an overkill mode. With overkill mode, it's pretty much like a slowdown time where you're pretty much invincible, you don't run out of ammo, and you shoot, you mow the guys down. Now, as you can tell by the name of Overkill, you basically gun down these people, take them out, and then move on. Now, if you have both of them, it goes into super slow motion to where you have super fast reflexes. You can turn around, shoot them, turn, you know, all that fun stuff. Gameplay overall, probably much better than any other third person shooter you can find out there. Next to Gears of War, of course. People compare all third person shooters now to Gears of War. Uh, sandbox games, GTA, first-person shooters to Call of Duty, which I think they need to compare it to uh, Halo. Well, not this one, but, you know, I can't pull up this other one because it's plain. It's Halo Reach. That's what's on my screen right now. I'm getting ready to play. Actually, because of the Xbox I have right now, I can play this. No updates or anything. Well, it asked me to update. But, overall, the game does have a lacking story, which is pretty much just go down and mow people down. But that is what the series is known for, and that's what makes that is what makes it awesome. At the end, it leaves it wide open for a sequel. Now, I hope they bring in a sequel and add more story to it. Maybe a couple new characters, new playable characters. You know, where you're not restricted to just playing this one guy or this or his partner, but as multiple different people. That would be a pretty cool. Or make your own person. Like, you get to change their armor look. You get to change your face masks, weapons. The armor stuff. I would like it better if you can actually make it piece by piece. Like, what's on this shoulder? What's on this shoulder? What's on your arms? You know, like any other uh, game where you get to customize your characters, but. It didn't, it didn't do that, but the armors in there are pretty cool looking. They add no element to it, no no actual armor. It just looks good. My favorite is Elite, which is he has exposed arms and like a vest and all kinds of stuff. I like it. I use that and the uh, Dead Space 2 mask, or 3. It's one of those. I think it's 2 because 3 didn't come out yet, maybe. Somewhere. Oh, it is 3 because there's the other guy too, Carver's. I, I get his name right. What the... It's like the... What? I don't know. The, if if y'all see that, the lighting is kind of... I don't know what that is. But uh, overall, game is pretty fun. It does lack a story, but the gameplay is good. It gets 3 out of 5. Uh, I would have gone higher if the story was better. Or if, you know, Salem wasn't a bad guy. That was actually a good plot twist, by the way. It was. I, I can hate on all one. That's just like if uh, a superhero turns bad. Like, say it's a Batman and Superman movie, and Superman goes bad, and Batman has to stop him. That's pretty much how this went. It's you trying to stop a fellow member be from completely destroying his life, which he kind of does. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the future for more games that I intend to beat. So, I'll see y'all guys next time on the next video game review. Later.